The timing of this project was really interesting because the people were very tired of photographers already, even just a week after the earthquake. But once I explained this concept to them, and once I showed them that I wanted to to hear their opinion on the on the whole situation, they were very appreciative, and a lot of people um, just said they really respected me for listening to them and giving them a chance to have their own platform. This was downtown um, Port-au-Prince, and it was just catastrophic. The, the rubble and the, the disaster was just everywhere. Um, and I was pretty, pretty blown away by it all. I'm pretty speechless. I didn't really know what to do. I just, all I knew was to keep pressing forward with this project and to uh, find the right people and the right um, environments to tell their story. With each message, we would use a found piece of rubble to, to uh, write their story down. And I went to the art store before I went to Haiti and bought a bunch of different art supplies, a bunch of markers that could write on anything. So I knew that I would be prepared for when we got down there. It's like it really hadn't phased them, and they didn't, they didn't care that their city had just been destroyed. They were determined to bounce back and to rebuild within just two weeks of the earthquake hitting. You know, the, these people really, you know, these stories stay with me forever. They don't go away, and, and frankly, it's what, a lot of what keeps me humble to meet people like this. It took us a while to convince this man to take this photo, and uh, uh, for obvious reasons, he wasn't too thrilled about being in this tent city. So his message here is one of sarcasm. I remember just before this recorded, uh, somebody said, why are you talking to the children? They have nothing to say. The guy was yelling at us, and uh, this kid grabbed the marker and wrote this message down immediately. He knew exactly what he wanted to say. This is the most um, probably important photo that I've ever taken, and maybe ever will take. Um, we had heard that there was a wedding and that church that's destroyed behind them is where they were going to be getting married in. But they got married on this lawn just outside of it. And um, I just couldn't believe that a couple would be still proceeding with their wedding just um, a week and a half after the earthquake hit. And uh, this photo alone just sums up the strength of the Haitian people. <laughs> This woman was mother to all 70 of these women. There are only probably 30 or 40 pictured here, but she was um, mother to all of them. Not literally, but they all called her mother, and she was their sole caretaker. Easily one of the most inspiring women I've ever talked to. We really spent a lot of time with her that day. Je m'étonne de tant de beauté